everyone so today i'll be reviewing two very famous uh, series or rather epics of indian origin so the first is the mahabharata and the second is the ramayana and um, these are both uh, the graphic novel or comic versions by amar chitra katha and as you can see these are like box editions and really gorgeous box editions i'll try to show you everything every detail of this so the first book as you can see is uh, the kuru princess second book is pandavas in exile and the third one is on the battlefield of kurukshetra and so let's take out the books and it will be easier to show you the box set separately so on the front of the box is the standard amar chitra katha uh, image of krishna here giving a sermon to um, arjun and then on the so it says amar chitra katha mahabharata these are like you can see gold golden letters and on the back i'll try to cover the blurb as well so you can pause there and read it if you want not very clear but i cannot get it to focus somehow so anyway so that's the box so and let's start with the first volume <coughs> so the first volume is the kuru princess yeah so this is the first volume and this is the old amar chitra katha uh, art style so they have not tried to get a perspective a little better so yeah so as you can see this is the old ack art style and they have not changed the art at all so the front and the back have the same cover so this is different in every uh no it's it's the same in every book so i checked with the other book as well so and then it's going to the starts with mahabharata and then you have this volume contains the following titles so you get the titles which are covered in the volumes as well so the titles were printed uh, separately as amar chitra katha volumes as i understand it because i have not read the individual titles i got the i read the whole thing here only so it's the titles are as i'll read it to you ved vyasa bhimas vow the advent of kuru princess pandavas at hastinapur enter drona enter karna the conspiracy escape birth of ghatotkach pandavas at uh, ika chakrapur uh, enter draupadi draupadi swayamvara the pandavas recall to hastinapur and arjuna's 12 year exile so it starts it ends with uh, arjuna's 12 years exile and the artwork as you can see is standard old artwork from amar chitra katha the backgrounds are a single tone color which which you will understand how it how, why i say it's standard ack fair is because i'll when i'll cover the other um, ramayana you will understand how widely different they have changed it so solid colors in the background or the background is left white so this is very different from the new or amar chitra kathas and as you can see the editor is anand pai and illustrations by dilip kadam so pretty thick book and it comes with uh so you have a bookmark book ribbon rather in the in the in the book itself and you can see here it's a shlok from the geetas i think it's from the geetas i'm not very really sure so this is different in every book the picture is different in every book as well so that's the kuru princess I cannot get it to focus properly. 
let me try zooming a little bit yeah so you can read the blurb of the first book back of the first book here and then let's move on to book number two which is Pandavas in Exile start with the blurb it will be easier for you yeah so you can pause there and read the blurb and then the inside is a different quote from the Gita yeah, this is definitely from the Gita it's a very famous quote and the artwork is the similar one as was seen in book one and I'll read to the titles covered here a hall for Yudhishthira Pandavas conquer the world Yudhishthira's Rajsuya Yajna Indraprastha lost the Pandavas in the forest Arjuna's quest for weapons Arjuna in Indraloka the reunion Duryodhan humbled the twelfth year the Pandavas at Virata's palace panic in Kaurava camp Sanjaya's mission Duryodhana refuses to yield. So this starts with Mahabharata 15. You can see here. So it's in continuation. In case you have the older actual Amachitrakota volumes, you do not need not get this. But this is a very good collector's edition. It's a hardcover bound and will hopefully last for a very very long time. So something to pass on. So this is the third volume on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And then I'll, I'll let get through the blurb. Yeah. So let's see. So you can pause there and read the blurb if you want. Can't get it to properly focus. So yeah. So there you go. The blurb. And then same. Uh, standard drawing which is which quite a few people favor over the newer ones by the way I've been told so the volume in this Mahabharata contains the following titles Krishna's peace the war begins Bhishma in command the fall of Bhishma Drona's vow the slaying of Abhimanyu Arjuna fulfills his vow the battle at midnight Karna in command the Kuru is routed after the war Yudhishthira's coronation Dashwamedha Yajna and the celestial reunion so this one begins with Mahabharata 29 and ends at 42 so and let's check out the book ribbon here so, so the book ribbon here is this one and now the backs so the backs contain a uh, history like every book at the back contains something which shows uh, gives some extra information of the Mahabharata history of Mahabharata for example in the third book and Guru Purnima and significance of Guru Purnima and then a characterization of Krishna who he was and so on book number two at the back it contains let's see what it contains so this contains the family tree uh, starting with Parashara and then ending with Pandu, Kunti and Matri and then again starting with Dhritarashtra and ending with Draupadi and uh, ending with Yuichu, Duryodhan and the other one starting with Surya, Kunti and ending with Draupadi and the first book at the end contains okay this this book uh, contains a uh, glossary pronunciation guide and glossary for those who are interested and it gives out the glossary of all the different terms that is used in Indian context but might not be understandable for all the people who are not from India so there is a English and then there's a Hindi and then the mm, thing written uh, the meaning of what it means so that's it for the three books of um, the Mahabharata. So three, one, two. Okay, let's 
Let's rip it like this. So, yeah. So let's keep that aside and we'll move on to Ramayan. Valmiki is Ramayan. So as you can see it says Valmiki is Ramayan or something stuck in the front. Valmiki is Ramayan here. It says Amachitra Katha here as well. It's golden embossing as well. Take out the books. So, unlike uh, the Amarchitra, uh, the Rama, uh, the Mahabharats, Ramayana is in six six volumes, all hardcover volumes. Yes, six volumes, nonetheless. So, this is volume six. We'll start with volume one. Uh, from one to six, by the way, let's just get the names first. It's down. So, yeah, there you go. Balakand, Ayodhya Kand. Aranyakand, Kishkindakand, Sundrakand and Yudhyakand. So Kand means event uh, in Hindi. And we'll be starting with the Balakand. So as you can see the front cover artwork is starkly different from your standard Amachit old Amachitrakatha which was seen in Mahabharat. This is the front cover, front inside. And then so the route your editor and then the, there, is, there should be yes so illustrations and cover by Zohe Bagbar and then you can check out the other details as well and you'll understand what I mean when I said that the illustrations are different so here you can see much sharper uh, detailing which is in keeping with the uh, with the artworks that have come on later on uh, in the western society as well so much sharper I personally like the illustrations in this but there have been other people including some of my friends who like the illustrations for uh, the Mahabharat better because well frankly Quite a few of us grew up with Amat Chitra Katha in hand, and we are uh, we are we are like accustomed to that kind of artwork, non-sharp to be more precise. So you can see the facial features and everything are much sharper here. And the panels are much. The backgrounds, for example, are not white. It is digitized and has details, unlike the Mahabharata one and so the back cover is the same as the front one and then the end it doesn't have any yeah it does it does it has a glossary as well so this has a glossary of the terms covered in the first book this seems to be joined so anyways yeah same format the English term the Hindi term and meaning of what it what meaning of the term so that was the first book go on to the second book uh, the yuddha kand oh so this volume six i mean so, so let's keep it in order It'll be easier for me yeah so yeah ayodhya kand this is the second book not yuddha kand that's the last book so volume two and then the front illustration and the back illustrations are same just mirrored and the artwork uh, is same, same as that seen in the first book starkly different from your usual fear of how much Chitrakathas of old And then at the end, there's a glossary here as well, which shows what happened and why it happened. Like there are quite a few uh, terms that go out of context. So I'll be going through all the blurbs of all the books in order when once I've finished all six books. So this is book three, Aranyakand. So this is Aranya basically means forest. So the exile term of 12 years of 
oh sorry sorry I'm missing out yeah so the exile term of 12 years for uh, for Ram and Lakshman and Sita so this is Ravan by the way so in case he's the so called evil guy in Ramayana so yeah another glossary again at the back along with some ads uh, volume 4 Kishkin the Kand Ravan uh, sorry Hanuman so they went with a very modern style of illustration as you can see here Jatayu personally I feel that this would help uh, the modern readers uh, who are coming into um, reading Ramayana and Mahabharata for the first time to grow much more interested in this because the kind of illustration that we grew up with that kind of illustration has uh, gone out of phase so to say so this kind of illustration is much more in keeping with the newer illustrations that kids these days uh, see and hopefully they'll read it out of interest because of the illustrations being similar to what they have grown up with just like we grew up with different kinds of the black the illustrations that we that I showed in Mahabharat and then book six the last book Yudhakand last book so beautiful uh, collector's edition so Hero heroes of Rama's army so there are there are book there are pages in between that covers the relevant details this is one of those pages and there's Rama's army according to the Indian system of numbers so you can see there's a lot of information contained here as well so that is a very big bonus I think in owning these books and let me cover the blurbs for each so this is book one you can pause and read book two three book four and the last book book six so yeah so that covers two series kept okay, this differently this the Ramayan and the Mahabharat as usual if you have any thing to talk about you're free to comment below and uh, any suggestions any questions oh yes the price price so I got this for very cheap um, back when it was launched and uh, Flipkart I think was giving a sale so I got this one for I think 180 and this one for uh, 270 if I'm not wrong and frankly these are throwaway prices for these they are much at a much higher price now but I'll try to link the best prices uh, in the description and yeah thank you for watching happy reading